G'day, it's Rev Becker from Rev Bikes. Today we're going to be discussing what the expected range of a battery might be. So I'm going to demo on a bike here. This bike has an 8 amp hour battery and it's running a 250 watt motor with a controller that runs at 8 amp continuous. So that's going to give us some good figures. 8 amp of output drawn from the battery an 8 amp hour battery that should last one hour, one hour. So 8 amps hours in the battery gives us one hour of riding at 8 amps or 8 hours of riding at one amp. So if we're able to draw down the power that the motor is actually drawing we can extend the range. So the best way for us actually to have a look at this is jump on the bike and we'll go for a ride see see how far we can get. the hill there I definitely felt the uh, the motor drawing more than eight amps I could see on the screen it was drawing probably between 10 and 14 amps as an average on that big hill and I was putting in a lot of legwork as well to keep it going so uh, if I do lots of hills like that I'm obviously not going to get an hour out of this battery possibly as much as little as half an hour or something like that, depending how much assistance I'm giving the motor as I'm going. Let's have a little look at how it goes on the flat. on the flat it's very simple work for this controller it's not drawing anywhere near the eight amps of current probably only averaging two to three which is only really under a hundred watts being drawn um, at that rate the motor's going to go for potentially three hours so if I'm just riding on the flat maybe on rail trails and so on to get away from these stinky cars uh, we might see we can get three hours of range from this pack. The only other thing I notice is on takeoff, the current really jumps up high, so might even be peaking out at uh, 15, 14, 15 amps. So if I do a lot of stop starting, definitely the takeoffs, the amount of takeoffs I do, if I'm in assist five or if I'm using the throttle, I'm going to reduce my range. Well, that was fun. I've done uh, 25 k's of range. I'm nowhere near empty on the battery gauge yet. Uh, still got two bars left, so out of four, so I could expect to double the the range that I've done. So I might get 50 k's easily from this battery the way I was riding. I did a couple of big hills. Um, I was helping a lot, obviously, with my legs. Uh, probably did under 10 takeoffs. So the takeoffs definitely is where you notice uh, even one light disappear, one bar disappear from the battery gauge. It'll reappear um, as soon as I'm cruising again, but that high current draw on takeoff actually affects the, uh, the battery gauge quite a lot. It's one thing that's uh, really a bit annoying about um, e-bike battery gauges is that they are a voltmeter. So when the battery is under load, you'll notice those bars drop down and then they might reappear again when the battery's not under so much load, so on the flat compared to on a hill. Um, so even I know from personal use of this bike, once it gets to zero bars, I'll still have maybe 10 k's of range from that point, although that's not a great way to treat your battery.
Um, so overall, yeah, it depends a lot on how you're riding as to the range you can expect. Wind resistance, rolling resistance, being in the right gear to assist your motor uh, adequately, the, the weight you're carrying, all those things affect um, your range, but not as much as the number of hills you're climbing up and the takeoffs. The takeoffs really are the thing. Um, I would say that the, the most simple way we usually calculate range is uh, with a 250 watt motor, you can estimate between four and eight kilometers per amp hour. Um, if you've got a 10 amp hour battery, you can estimate between 40 and 80 kilometers of range from that pack. So 40 if you are doing uh, more challenging terrain, uh, 80 k's if you're sort of rail trailing it and that, uh, that sort of riding, easy riding. So that's a general rule of thumb that we use. With higher power motors, it's a bit different. Higher power motors tend to run on 48 volt systems instead of 36. So with the same amount of energy storage on board, uh, you've got less amp hours with a higher voltage, but less current is flowing too. So that's a conversation for another day. Um, generally, I hope that's helped you work out why there are so many variables with calculating range in e-bike batteries and uh, may that bring you closer to riding one yourself very soon. I've been Rev Becker, thanks for watching. Nice.